Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rock Bottom Airsoft. As always, it's good to see you. If it's your first time here, then it is good to see you. And I hope you're going to enjoy this video. Now, first of all, I've got to make an apology. This is our midweek video. Normally, I would look to upload a gameplay video. Um, but unfortunately, I have been preparing for the gathering at Tazball Airsoft, which is a free day event. I'm going to be camping out there. Three days of airsoft, including a night game, big game on the Saturday, various skirmishes and competitions should be a really good do. I'm looking forward to it. And that is why I didn't manage to get out to an airsoft game in the last couple of weeks because I've been preparing all my gear, getting myself set, ready to go to the gathering. Now, what I thought I'd do today because I don't have any gameplay footage is I thought I'd show you some of the kit you might need if you're going to be going to a big event next year or maybe later on this year, depends where you're going or indeed if you're camping out in general at any airsoft event that may be over more than a day now I can't comment on Milsim because I, I don't play Milsim um, so I mean your, your loadouts for Milsim may be very different I know there's a lot of good videos on here um, on YouTube that basically do say about uh, what gear to take with you for a milsim but i thought it'd be fun um you might be interested just to see what i will be taking with me uh, for my big weekend game at tasball airsoft now it's a bit of a change of venue we're in uh, one of my rooms here where i keep a lot of my gear uh, there's all sorts of stuff in here i'll maybe have a show around that at some points where i keep most of my collection of my airsoft gear so again Big apologies that it's not a gameplay this week, but still, I hope you find this interesting and uh, I'll show you the type of items um, that I tend to uh, to pack up and everything I've been getting ready. Some of the things that you, you might find useful. Now, the first thing that I'd recommend um, is this. Um, I bought this as a cheap gazebo. Uh, it's very cheap, got it on Amazon. I can leave a link in the description if you'd like as to where you can get one. Now, the reason I recommend to get a cheap gazebo or some kind of shelter like that is when you go to these events, very often you'll want somewhere to set your gear up when you're at your campsite. Um, if you're setting gear up, as you know, if it rains, here in the UK we do get a lot of rain. If it rains, you want to be dry. You want to be able to keep your kit clean and dry before you go out on the field. And when you get back from the field, you want somewhere to clean your kit up and dry it out. And in the evening, you want somewhere to sit where it's going to be nice and dry. So a, a cheap gazebo is a must. Um, if you want to get a good quality gazebo, that's great. What I normally end up doing is, is get a cheap gazebo. If it gets damaged when I'm on the site, if it wasn't too expensive and you chip in with your mates, then it might be that you can, you can put that in the rubbish when you've finished. So a gazebo is definitely something I would recommend when you're going to any kind of weekend or multi-day event and you, you know you're going to be in one campsite. It means you keep all your gear dry. Now, what have I got in here next? Very important, sleeping bag. Need something to sleep in. Depending on the time of year, when you're going to be going, depends on the type of sleeping bag you want. This is a free season sleeping bag. I'm going on this trip this weekend coming, so it should be reasonably warm. It's very warm at the moment here in the Highlands of Scotland. So with that in mind, this sleeping bag should be more than warm enough. To go along with the sleeping bag, I found one of these cheap camp beds uh, to be more than adequate for sleeping on. You can use a roll mat if you want, uh, but I've just found it a lot more comfortable with a camp bed. Keeps you off the ground, it's a bit more comfy to lie on. Um, this one wasn't very expensive at all, I got this on discount. I think it was around about £10. So, you know, a camp bed especially in a static campsite is well worth it very important you need somewhere to sleep in this is a uh, my tent that i'll be taking with me it's actually a backpacking tent if you've got more space than i have in your car uh, or whatever transport you're using to get there then you might want to go with a bigger tent something you can stand up in something that's going to be a bit more comfortable can hold a lot more gear for you uh, but for me this is a backpacking tent. If I was to be traveling very light and everything in a rucksack, uh, this one can pack down into a rucksack nicely. And in my car, it doesn't take up a lot of space, so it means I can fit more gear in there. So there's that. Now, um, I'm not gonna pick that one up because it's rather large, but in this bag, 
I have pretty much everything I need. I've got my rigs, my combat belts. Let's open it up, I'll show you. So as you can see in there, I have camera equipment, change clothes, safety gear, helmets, rigs, belts, lights, pretty much everything that you need for camping and also for playing the game. Make sure I've got my revision wipes and things like that in there for keeping the anti-fog off my, my glasses because I don't want them fogging up. So that's my big bag. And then obviously we've got my gun case there. I'll cut to a little video just now that I did recently. that will show you what's inside my gun case and all the gear I'm taking. Okay, so there's the gun case contents. Um, I put that up recently on social media to show what replicas I was taking with me. As you'll probably see, I've got three primaries and three secondaries. Maybe don't need that many, um, but I like to take a few with me uh, just so I can I can change it up a bit during the weekend. Got three days gaming, so I've got three different loadouts there, and I've got one specifically set up for the night game. Now, because it's going to be over a three-day event. Obviously my batteries are going to need charging at some point unless I took enough batteries to last me the whole three days. I won't be doing that so what I've done is, is I take my charger with me. Now, as a lot of you may know this charger, I reviewed it not too long ago in a previous video. You can plug this directly onto a car battery and run it off a 12 volt source. Or I can use my inverter that I have in my car. But either way I'm set up for charging duties. Now in the black case that you can maybe see there that I'm pointing out just now, that's the case that I always take with me to all of my skirmishes. Uh, that has a selection of tools in it. It also has all my magazines, all my BBs, pretty much everything that I need sundry wise to do with my replicas. It also has in there a little portable speaker so I can listen to some tunes in the evening because I want to do that, you know. Um, as well as that, we also have some lubricating oil, so I can clean my replicas up at the end of the day, lubricate my gas blowback pistols, that type of thing. I also have in there um, a selection of sights for on my replicas, so I can fit more in the case. Torches, that type of thing for the night game, because there is a night game at this gathering, so that should be good. Uh, tracer unit, selection of suppressors, basically all the additions that you, you might need for your replicas. Slings and things are in this bag, so I try to keep everything separate. So anything that's going to be worn on my person is in this big heavy bag, and any camping related stuff is in there as well. And in my box that I take with me to most skirmishes, it has everything in it plus some that I would normally take to a skirmish. So as I say, ammo, magazines, sights, everything that needs to be kept secure and safe is in that box. Now, there are other items I'm taking with me that I haven't got packed up into this room just yet. Uh, those items are a chair. Very important, you want to have a chair to sit in. Um, I have seen people go before and then realize, I don't have a chair, and then you're sitting on the grass, depending on where you're camping, that could be very damp, very cold, not very comfortable. So a folding chair comes in quite handy uh, as something to sit at, especially if you're gonna be doing any work on your replicas when you're there, if you do need to do a small repair at the table or something. And that goes on to the next thing. I also have a folding table that uh, is currently packed away. The folding table will be going with me as well to go under the gazebo. It's quite a large table. So me and my friends will be able to set all our gear up at that table without a problem. Now, also, you need enough food to last you for the, the free day event. Now, there are food bars and things like that at these events. There is gonna be at Tazborn. However, you know, you might want some stuff that you can cook yourself. Now I've gone with tinned items. They don't go off, they don't require refrigeration. And I have my small camping stove, uh, which I'll take with me as well, which comes in handy for making a brew, if you want a coffee or a cup of tea. So obviously I'll have that with me as well, and all the lighting that you need to light up the area. So again, apologies that this isn't a gameplay video. I hope you found it interesting, the amount of gear I'm gonna be taking with me this next weekend. <laughs> I can't believe how much it's ended up building up. Uh, but I know at previous events I've been to, I have ended up with a similar amount of gear. It's surprising how quick you end up with that much stuff. Um, but I do hope you've enjoyed this video. You found it a little bit interesting. 
If you happen to find yourself at the gathering at Taz Wall Airsoft this weekend, that starts on the 27th of August, which is Friday, then look me up. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, you won't miss me. And I'll be happy to have a chat with you. So I look forward to seeing some of you there. But until next time, thanks very much for watching.